Hi everyone, this is CJ with Section.io. Today I'm going to be covering um, some Chrome DevTools and in particular the Network tab. So to get started, to, get, to open up the Chrome DevTools, uh, you can either use the shortcuts or up in the right hand corner you can click on this little option button down to more tools and then in the developer tools just click that guy. So this will usually open up in the console tab and today we're going to be talking about the network tab right here. So when you first click on this there's nothing in here um, so let's actually get some data populated in there. So to do that, we just refresh the web page. And you can kind of see some content start to populate down in there now. This view is a little hard to look at. So there's a larger icon view that I usually click to take a better look at what's going on. So each one of these is a HTTP request. And if we click on the HTML document, which is usually the first one, we can get some more information about exactly what's going on here. So you can actually see the response is, actually, is all of the HTML code. And if we click on the headers tab, we can see what headers are being requested and returned from our server or CDN that is sitting in front of our server. So here you can see the request URL, the method of get, status code that was returned, which is 200, which means that was okay. The remote address we were connecting to in the following port. And what's a little more interesting is these response headers here. So the response headers is what the HTTP request is returning from your web server and or your CDN. So we are using the section IO CDN. So you can see some section IO specific headers in here. And with section IO, this ID right here is actually unique to this particular request. So if you have another request with this on the same domain, you'll have this a different section IO ID that you can use in the section IO real time logs. You have some other headers in here that are specific to this request. You can see like an X cache, we got a cache hit on this guy. You can see the content type of text HTML. And since it came from cache, you can even see the age um, of this document. You scroll down a little further, you'll be able to see the request headers. The request headers is the headers that are sent when the browser makes the connection to your remote address. So to kind of demonstrate a, another request, let's go down to an image. So you can see the URL changed. We still got a status code of 200, which means okay. Since it was on the same domain, we're requesting from the same address, but the response headers are a little different. You can see the content type of image PNG which is different from our content type of text HTML. And like I said, the section IO ID is a little different. And if you're using another CDN, you might have specific headers to that CDN as well. If you scroll down, you'll also see the request headers are a little different as well. Um, we're telling our origin server or our remote address, like, hey, I'm accepting image WebP formats. That's kind of the basics of the network tab. On uh, next video, I'll be digging a little deeper into exactly how these requests are loading your web page. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.